Hi everyone. So in today's lecture, we are going to see about the introduction to Java. Okay. So finally, we are going to start our subject that is what Java. So as we saw in the first lecture that programming language is a computer language that is used by the programmers to give instructions to computer to perform a specific task, right? So Java is also a programming language. Java is a very simple, you know, high level, secured, concurrent, platform independent, object oriented programming language. You can say dynamic programming language also. So we will cover this thing in details why Java is called simple or high level or dynamic or object oriented in further lectures. For now, it is a simple definition for Java. Okay. So basically Java is a technology which provides two things. It provides a language also. It provides a platform also. Okay. So Java is basically what a technology which provides a language as well as the platform. Now you should you should know what is a platform. So a platform is a hardware and software which provides runtime environment for applications or programs. Okay. Is it clear the this runtime environment consists of what things or which things? Uh, we have like memory management, process management, input and output management and device management. Okay. So this runtime environment consists of this four management, memory management, process management, input output management and device management. In simple words, a platform acts as a mediator with, between software and hardware. Okay. The platform acts as a mediator between software and hardware okay this much is clear let's go in the next point means the next slide so basically we are going to see about the areas where java is used okay so basically java is used for mobile applications like android apps okay and java is used for the desktop applications too and Java is used for the web applications in banking domain and the medical domain. Okay. And in the education sector also. Is it clear? And Java is also used for database connections. Like we have JDBC, right? In the advanced concept, we will learn the JDBC, Java database connectivity. Okay. And Java is also used for the games development and many more things. Okay. It is used in many more fields also. So this is what the area where Java is used. Is it clear? So the next, you know, there is no abbreviation for Java. It just refers to a hot aromatic drink coffee. Okay. This is the reason Java programming language icon is a coffee cup. This is the icon, you know, for Java. This is the icon for Java. It is what a coffee cup. It is like a coffee cup, right? So it just refers to the hot aromatic drink coffee. Is it clear? You know, James Gosling along with other engineer scientists discovered Java at Sun Microsystems. He is a famous software developer also known as the father of Java. You want to see, uh, see his picture? Let's see his picture. He is the person, you know, he is the one who developed the Java. He is what? James Gosling. Okay. So before starting any any programming language, you know, you should know basic terminologies which are used in programming languages like what is source code, what is compiled code, what is execution, what is compilation, what is executable code and what is interpreter and what is compiler. You should know about these things. Okay. Before starting any programming language, at least you should know the overview of this terminologies. So we are going to see this one by one. So the first thing is program that is written by developer or programmer by following some programming language syntax is called as the source code. For example, he is the programmer using Java. He has written this code, this code. So this code is called as what? source code 
so the programmer has written this code you know this code basically what is this code this is an addition code it means take the two number and provide the uh, provide the sum of that two number in the output this code is doing that thing right so this code is written by the programmer or the developer that is why this so this code is called as what source code is it clear uh, so source code is, uh, source code is what developer written program according to programming language syntax okay it's called the source code so the syntax uh, the extension the extension of the source code in java is dot java okay in java it is dot java don't worry for now just remember what is called the source code okay the next thing is what compiled code so what do you mean by compiled code compiler generated program that is converted from the source code is called compiled code okay so it is a compiler so compiler generated program you know here see the input code is acting as a uh, the source code is acting as an input to this compiler and after the compilation process you are getting what compiled code okay so you should know about the compiler first so what is compiler compiler is a translation program that converts source code into machine language at once it is a generic generic definition for compiler okay but in the case of java it is not like this in the case of java compiler will convert the source code into byte codes first okay it will convert into byte codes first then jvm will convert this byte codes into the machine language okay so this is the case in java but talking about you know the compiler what is the generic definition the generic definition is you know it is a translation program that converts source code into machine language at once okay and what is interpreter interpreter is also a translation program but this will convert the source code into machine language line by line not at once okay this is the basic difference between compiler and interpreter now the third thing that you should know or the fifth thing that you should know is what executable code what do you mean by executable code okay so os understand executable program is called as executable code okay so the executable code is nothing but the operating system understanding executable program okay now we have two processes like compilation process and execution process so let's see one by one in the compilation process what will happen it is a process of translating source code into compiled code we already saw this thing okay and in the execution step what will happen it is a process of running compiled code to get the output what is it it is a process of running compiled code to get the output so here is the example see this is the compilation process source code to compiled code then this compiled code will uh, act as an input for the execution process and you will get what output you will get what output okay and the, and the last point is you know oracle corporation is the current owner of the java who is the owner of java current owner oracle corporation is the current owner of the java or you can say he is the oracle corporation is the current owner of the official implementation of the java sc platform following their acquisition of sun microsystem on january 20 27th 2010 i think yeah that is the date okay so uh, I, I hope everything is clear to you in this lecture we have only seen the basic overview of java we will see these things you know in detail like uh, we have to cover one topic uh, one one lecture on features of java in which i will explain everything in detail don't worry about that okay so that's all about this lecture so thanks for watching this video and please subscribe the channel for 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 the further updates okay so thank you